Welcome home guys, this is Canvas Mobile home screen and in this first video I'm going to show you everything you can do from this home screen. So I have my little pointer right here that will allow you to follow the movement I do on screen and yeah, let's get going. Let's start exploring our options right here. So the first thing you'll see is a nice banner that kind of welcomes you to the Canva uh, home screen. Under this we will see some buttons that says create a design and you will see some Instagram post, animated social, Instagram story, etc. You can scroll to the right here. So once you are to the right, of course, you can go back to the left, but this is scrollable and these are all sorts of Canva document sizes and types for you to start designing with. If you tap on one of these, for example, Instagram story here, it will lead you to a screen with more template choices. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go back to my home page. So that's the first row of buttons right here. If we continue scrolling down, we will see some specific categories like Instagram posts, Instagram stories, Facebook posts. Uh, so these are uh, the most popular templates in your specific area. So these might vary depending on uh, if you live in Australia or in another country. Me here, I'm in Australia, so this is what is popular right now. So if I tap on any of these designs, I will be opening them. So for example, I'm going to tap on this uh, Insta story right here and it will open in the editor ready for me to design. So I'm going to go back to the home screen. Okay, so now you have a pretty good idea of what all these designs are. They are basically templates ready for you to use. If we go back up to the top of the home screen, you will see this very big search bar right here. So if I tap inside the search bar, I can start typing things like Instagram, for example, Instagram, and then Canva will show me a list of all the different document types that use the keyword Instagram, right? So this is really useful uh, to search for certain document types. And instead of a uh, doc type, I can also search for content type. So for example, birthday, let's say you have a birthday coming up in the family very soon. Uh, you can type birthday and Canva will show you different sorts of documents that contain the keyword birthday. So this is very useful as well. You can either search for document types or content types. The last thing you can do from this homepage is to hit that little button here, the, the Turk button, the Canva color button. We call it the fab button, fast action button. This will open another menu. And so here again, you can search, you can create a custom dimension project. If you don't find what you're looking for, if you have specific dimensions in mind, click on this custom dimensions and you can very easily type in your dimension 500 by 500. You can select also if you want it in pixel, inches, millimeters or centimeters. I'm fine with pixels, so that's good. And then you can create your design by clicking on this Canva color button right here, create your design. For me, I'm going to cancel this because uh, uh, there is a one last thing I want to show you. I want to focus a little bit on these three little icons here at the bottom. So we have the home button, which is basically this home screen. Next, we have the design button. If I click here, it will lead me to the page where I can see all my previous designs. So here you see all the designs I have created with Canva and it doesn't matter if you have created them on the desktop version of Canva or on mobile, they will all show here. So this is pretty convenient. You also have the possibility to search all of your designs, which is really cool. And then you can, of course, open any of these designs to go straight to the editor. And last but not least, I want to talk a little bit about this menu button right here. If I tap here, Canva will show me a new menu from which I have access to a whole set of different options. The first thing I want to draw your attention to is this little drop down arrow right here. If I tap on it, Canva will show me the different teams that I have. You see, switch between teams. So I can switch between Ronnie's team, or any of all of these other teams I might have. So for example, Team Rondi right here, the last team, if I tap here, uh, then Canva will kind of reload the home screen. And if I go to my design tab right here, you will see a different set of designs because now what you're seeing are the designs from 
team Rondi. Switching back to Ronnie's team, some of the other things you could do from this menu button is go through your recent designs, the designs that have been shared with you. You could use the brand kit or the content planner, which are both pro features that we will explain in another video. You could explore all of your folders. You could see the trash and what's in there, or you can uh, see the purchased elements that you might have purchased in Canva. So. Hopefully this gives you a good roundup of everything you can do from the Canva home screen. In the next video, we are going to jump in the editor and see what we can do from there. From the home screen, you can do three things. You can search using the search bar, you can scroll, scrolling down to find your favorite templates, or you can use the plus button to discover more doc types or create a custom sized document.